Brandon and I'm a software developer that works with Razer to develop apps for the Switchblade UI. Now what I have here are two Razer Blades. This is the Razer Blade Pro which was released in summer 2013 this year. And this is the original Blade Razer Blade which was released at PAX Prime in 2011. They are amazing laptops. As you can see, they're incredibly thin. Uh, they have the same form factor um, at 0 0.88 inches thin. Um, and they're just under seven pounds, which is incredibly light for a 17 inch laptop. Anything, any, the, any other competition is incredibly thick and quite heavy. It's almost impossible to carry around. Um, this one on the right, the original, um, it, it really was the fir world's first true gaming laptop that was released, especially in this form factor. It featured an Intel Core i7, uh, it was a Sandy Bridge version, um, and it was dual core. It had 8GB of RAM and a 555M, uh, that was a GT 555M. I got this in April 2013, uh, this one on the right, and I used it to create Switchblade UI apps. As you can see, it's also got a uh, Switchblade user interface there. And... I was still running Battlefield 3 in 2013 on the 555M, uh, which was inside this laptop. It's an incredibly powerful laptop, and it was succeeded in 2013. There was a 2012 model, but I don't have that here. Uh, this is the 2013 Razorblade Pro, which has a GTX 765M, which is incredibly powerful. Um, almost, so, almost as powerful as the one in my computer upstairs, which is a 770. Um, it has a... Intel i7 uh, quad core for 700 uh, HQ, yeah, that's the one, and it has a base clock speed of 2.4 gigahertz. It has 8 gig of RAM as well. So yeah, they're incredibly thin laptops. They're beautiful, uh, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Even the power supply, which is here, it's an incredibly thin power supply. This is a 150 watt power supply uh, with a nice green Razer LED there. So it's an incredibly thin power supply. They really do put hard work into these laptops. So what I wanted to show you really was the app that I produced for the Razer Blade, uh, or the Switchblade UI, which is available on the Razer Blade. And as I said, the Deathstalker Ultimate and the Star Wars The Old Republic gaming keyboard. So let's just boot up the Spotify app here. So as you can see, this has got Doctor Who uh, running on it. I've got the Doctor Who soundtrack because it was the 50th anniversary episode of Doctor Who last Saturday, and it was absolutely awesome. Um, so what we have here is the artwork. We have uh, the track name, the album name, and the artist name, and also the timeline of where the where the track currently is. We have a play and pause button. So if I just unmute my audio and click play, you can hear that it starts playing music and it comes up which is absolutely awesome and I can click pause and it immediately pauses which I can use um, I can use this within the, within any game so I can boot up Battlefield let's just boot up Battlefield and show you the true power of this game or uh, well, this this laptop so let's boot up Battlefield there and I've just got a Razer Kabuto gaming surface which I love on the go and I've got a Razer Orochi 2013 which actually has a very low battery um, which is a shame um, let's just join this server. Is it going to join? There we go, it's just joining now. Um, so that's one of the apps. So I've got um, the Spotify app. Um, and let's go and have a look at Razer Notes. So this allows you to add notes um, using the Switchblade UI. So when you're in a game, you can start typing on the keyboard and it will stop all your input to your, uh, to your operating system or the game. And it will start to write on this little screen here. Um, which is really quite cool because you can use it for making shopping lists. Uh, you can use it to um, do to-do lists uh, in your game or maybe in real life you needed to do a shopping list. You can use it really much for anything, for keeping notes, which is really cool. And as you can see, that is running whilst I'm playing Battlefield 4. Uh, this is running on ultra quality graphics, which is just absolutely insane for a, for a laptop. That is just this thin. Um, it's using a GT x765m as i said um so yeah insane graphics quality it's absolutely amazing uh it's not a full server but i can move around and i can shoot some things oh hi there it's got me um it's double xp weekend on battlefield 4 by the way so yeah get get on that um so the last thing that i really wanted to show you was the league of legends jungle timer and also 
the new Razer Comms features. Now, Razer Comms, uh, what's, the, what's the date today? It's the 29th of November. And Razer Comms was updated either yesterday or the day before. Um, I'll put a, uh, some information uh, in the description below. Um, but basically, it includes the League of Legends Scouter, and it has the ability for to, to link to your League of Legends account. So let's go into my settings here. Let's go into the settings. It's coming here. I've got my friends list there. Hi, Chris. Um, Josh and Chris. Um, so I can go into accounts, and as you can see, uh, my League of Legends account is linked, and it says enable LOL Scouter and enable LOL Voice Chat. So if I have a friend that's in a League of Legends game or in my game, what it will do is it will prompt me whether I want to um, chat with them. So say Chris was playing a game with me, or Josh, if Josh was playing a game with me as well, it will come up on my screen saying, "Will you want? would you like to talk to uh, Josh or Chris uh, while you're playing League of Legends, which is absolutely insane that it knows that you're in the game. And also Scouter, Scouter, which I'm just going to show you now. I'm just going to join a normal game. Uh, let's go Blind Prick. Um, let's go match with teammates. So this is going to take a while, but it'll be worth it. Um, Scouter is awesome. It allows you to see all the runes, all the masteries, your, uh, your opponent's rank, pretty much any piece of information that you want to know about your teammates, you'll be able to see on Razer, um, on a Razer comms sc uh, lol scouter. It's an incredibly powerful tool uh, and it really will give you an advantage. So what I'll do is I'm just going to boot into a game here and as soon as the loading screen comes up, I'm going to show you what the po true power of Razer comms can really do because it's incredible. So I'm loading into my League of Legends game now, and as you can see, here is Razer Comms LOL Scouter. How awesome is this? We've got all the different users uh, down the side here, so all the different summoners that are in the game. We've got what champion they're playing, how many times they've played that champion. Their current, uh, well, their current seasons, um, so yeah, so this is season three, um, their, their rank. Uh, their last season, all their wins, their KDA, their runes, and their masteries. So what masteries they're running as well. How freaking awesome is that? And that's all displayed when you're in the loading screen. So this is just an overlay uh, for Razer Comms. Um, so I can click close on that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that's Razer Comms LOL Scouter. And, it, and it's just absolutely incredible. So powerful because you can see what masteries you're running, what, what they're running. So you can see um, like how, how good they're going to be in the game. Uh, so you can really just like start to plan what, what you're going to do and, how, how and let your teammates know, I guess, how good they're... Uh, they're going to be. Uh, if I was playing with any other um, uh, friends that were using Razer Comms and had their Razer Comms account linked to their LOL account, it would prompt me at this stage whether I wanted to join a voice chat with them, which is just absolutely ridiculous, and it's it's just super cool. So as you can see, we're just loading into the game now, and yeah, we have two junglers, and I called it first. <laughs> so I can just click Control Tab here. And Control Tab uh, puts the overlay up for Razer Comms, uh, and you can see that I can chat to people within Razer Comms, and uh, I can I can even see. Will this let me? Yeah, there we go. So I can see all my League of Legends friends on here, and I can start to chat to them um, within here. So that's that's absolutely awesome. It's an incredibly powerful piece of software. So yeah, go and check check out Razer Comms. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for that. So we've loaded onto the Rift now, and what I thought I'd show you quickly before I've got to go off and play this game is the League of Legends jungle timer for Switchblade UI. So I can click on this. This is an app that I've built, and we have the drag. We've got a dragon timer, a baron timer, and then the buffs. So the red buff and blue buff for each side. So what I can do is say I just killed the dragon. Let's click this button here. That's going to start a countdown for when it's going to be back up again. That gives you an incredible advantage because you know exactly when it's going to come back up and when you need to next take it. Or even your buffs, you know, uh, let's start a uh, red buff off on dragon side. We know when when we need to go and get that, that red buff. Um, so it's an incredibly powerful uh, tool and you can just click on that uh, to cancel it. Uh, let's click, oh no, just start off with another one. Let's click on cancel all timers and that will bring them all back up again. So. It's an incredibly powerful app which you can use uh, to monitor all your um, jungles, uh, jungle uh, timers. So I'm just going to go and play this game because I'm the last one next to the Nexus and yeah, I, I need to go play. So I will see you in a bit. So I've just finished my League of Legends game and I thought I'd quickly show you the Razer Developer Forums. Uh, you can find these at developer.razerzone.com 
slash forum. And basically you can get um, help and advice with any Razer Switchblade UI apps um, down here. Uh, you'll find me on there. My username is Brandon and I will be able to give you any help or advice that you want on those. You'll also find my C Sharp library on there which will enable you to get up and running with Razer uh, with Switchblade UI development really quickly in C Sharp. Um, you'll also find the software development kit on there. Uh, you can tweet me at Brandon JC Scott for any help that you might want. I'll put my uh, link in the description down below. Um, and yeah, you can see some sneak peeks of some apps that I'm working on uh, for the future. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.